Mr. Bull in a china shop. Pepper and her family are going for a drive. <laughs> I love our car. Ho, ho! And our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Stop! It is Mr. Bull and his friends. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's up? We're digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> Lads, let's smash up this old pipe. Mr. Bull is good at smashing things. Wow! Tea break! Oh, dear. Now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr. Bull. <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr. Bull. Yes, Pepper. <gasps> it's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because China can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> These two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Pepper. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new. Be careful not to smash it again. Oh, I am very good at smashing things. <gasps> oh. <gasps> well done, Pepper. Thank you for mending my teapot, Miss Rabbit. No trouble, Mr Bull. Phew. Look, boss, a pothole. There is a small hole in the road. And it's right outside Miss Rabbit's shop. What do you think, lads? Can we have a hole outside Miss Rabbit's shop? No. Oh. You fix my teapot, I'll fix your road. Uh, it's not my road. Mr Bull, how are you going to mend the hole? We'll dig up the road. Mr. Bull is digging up the road. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes digging up the road. Everybody likes digging up the road. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's pond. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Today we are making a pond. Ooh. We start by digging a big hole. Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, 
Where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a no <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of a lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. Granny, Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr Rabbit? Just about here, Mr Bull. <laughs> Mr Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well, thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry, you can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is taking Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. I like this road. It's all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Goldie likes it too. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. What are you doing, Mr. Bull? We're digging up this old road to make a new one. Will it be wibbly wobbly like the old road? No, Pepper. It will be straight. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of shouting to do. Come on, lads! Now move on! 
Mr. Bull is the boss. Bosses like to shout, Give up the good work! But how will we get Goldie to the vet? We'll just have to walk there. Pepper and Goldie have arrived at Dr. Hamster the Vets. Dr. Hamster helps sick pets get better. Hello, Dr. Hamster. I've brought Goldie the fish for her checkup. Ah, she's lovely. Is that the checkup? Yes, just make sure she drinks plenty of water. Oh, hello, Mr. Bull. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Sorry about the noise. We're building a new road. Will you take long? No, not long. We just have to knock this building down. <gasps> you can't knock this building down. No, this is where Polly Pets come to get better. Is it? Yes. Can't you make the road go around the building instead? Around the building? Around? But then the road wouldn't be straight. Busy people can't be wasting time driving around things. If you can't go around it, then can you go over it? No, that would be silly. What about going underneath it? Oh, a tunnel. That's very hard to do. Oh, someone's at the back door. Oh, hello. It is Mr Bull's brother. Hello. Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone. Mr Rabbit is the road building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side. I'll dig from the other side. And we'll meet in the middle. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Hooray! Congratulations, Mr. Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. Uh, they're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? Only one thing we can do, Pepper. We'll, we'll dig up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! 
Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa. 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. <sighs> What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. 
Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Pepper. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Fuzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got bats, Madame Gazelle! Ah, oh, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, oh, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are! It's a tree house! <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madam Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. Simple science. It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up. <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello. Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh. It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. Uh -huh. Ten hundred! <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> <laughs> She's very heavy. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How 
how can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> I see you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny wrong. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> To the airport, are you? Yes, and actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. 
Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, lads! Here's the sand! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho! There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. The Wishing Well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli, and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots, and beetroots live here, and over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That. Pepper is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Pepper. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! <laughs> They're lovely. There's this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. 
I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, well, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Peppa and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Peppa? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs> Peppa and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. <coughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr Bull. Welcome to the mountain beauty spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! Hooray! 
Mr. Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh! Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing! Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now! Welcome to the cave beauty spot! Ooh! All thanks to my daddy! Uh... And Mr. Bull? Yes! I'm good at digging holes! Mr. Bull loves digging holes! <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes! <laughs> the new house! Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah! And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh, Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr. Bull. Bye-bye. Bye! George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Pepper. We've got new neighbours. <coughs> Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look! Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Pepper Pig. <coughs> Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. 
What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks, so don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No, I'll huff and puff you instead. <gasps> <laughs> Sun, sea and snow It is bedtime for Pepper and George Tomorrow we're going on a coach trip to the seaside We can make sand castles I fancy a swim Me too The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny Good night Pepper Good night George Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. <laughs> now. We can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Bye! Beach. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Sand cars are swimming and the sunny skies. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Sea and sand and ice cream too. <laughs> Here we are, the seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. Oh. That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and, hey, presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! I love 
love the seaside. And I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. No, oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at 10 o'clock. What time is it now? 10 o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight! Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Madam Gazelle, we're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his mended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. Up the road. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her family are driving to the playground. 
Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> brum, brum. Pepper and George <laughs> love going to the playground. <laughs> oh, why have we stopped? It's a traffic jam. But we need to get to the playground. <laughs> Don't worry, George. The traffic is moving again. Stop! Mr Bull has stopped the traffic. What's the problem, Mr Bull? Moo! We're digging up the road. There's water coming out of the ground. Yes, that's what we're here to fix. Ooh. Is it going to take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> George likes diggers. This way, Mr. Rhino! OK, boss! Mr. Bull is the boss. Mr. Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! Wow! We turn the water off. <laughs> George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out <laughs> and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr Bull. Ooh, no problem. Bye! See you later! <laughs> Oh, dear. George doesn't want to leave Mr Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the playground. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Let's play in the sandpit. OK. <laughs> Stop. What's the problem? We're digging up the road and I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. Vroom, vroom. We fill it in. Vroom, vroom. And the road is mended. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, dear. George doesn't want to go home yet. <laughs> On the way home, George, we can see Mr Bull digging up the road. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking forward to seeing Mr. Bull again. Digger, way! Here we are. Oh, Mr. Bull is not here. Mr. Bull must have finished and gone home. <laughs> Digger, way! A pipe broken again. No, Pepper. This time it's faulty electrical cables. How do you mend a clackety cables? We dig up the road! Hooray! Pepper and George <laughs> love it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.